lecture, we talk about going on the offensive. These are the strategies, strategic options that are available to firms when one thinks about taking the initiative and going strong against the competitors. Generally, the idea here, when we talk about our internal capabilities, as we recall from the earlier discussions, we want to build competitive advantage in our internal structure, our resources and capabilities, into something that continues to sustain us vis-a-vis -vis competition as things change in the marketplace. We want to apply our resources where rivals are least able to address them. If we have intellectual property, we build on them. If we have geographic superiority in terms of our locations, we build on those. So we take our resources where we're strongest and we leverage those into strong competitive position. We take surprise where possible, that is enter a new marketplace when they're not when it's not expected, or those kinds of, uh, of activities that allow us to have some time to consolidate a position of strength before the competitors respond. And also we want to display, we, we want to display a bias for quick action, swift activity, getting out into the marketplace and then making corrections as we go along. It's, a, uh, it's, a, it's an active strategy, being on the offensive is an active strategy which tries to move organizations forward in a way that might overcome, overwhelm, or push away competitors who might want to take a certain amount of action. The idea here is we're in dynamic environments. You never know what competitors are going to do, what they're planning, or what might happen the next tomorrow in the marketplace or in the competitive strategies. So sometimes it's best just to take offensive initiatives. Generally, when one does that, you want to avoid going after the strength of the, of the opponent. In other words, if they're particularly good in one geography, you don't necessarily go after that. You go where they're weaker, where some of their stores perhaps are struggling. You also use your own strategic assets, the strongest ones you have, in order to go after your competitor, hopefully, in their weakest point. So if you have some strong stores, Competitors have some weak stores. You look for where your positions are strongest and the competitors are weakest, and that becomes an area where one could really take some, make some competitive, uh, take some competitive action and, and uh, achieve some, uh, some, su some uh, successful um, initiatives. Um, sometimes these things take time. You will make an, a, an, an aggressive action. It may take time to consolidate that position, and you always always have to be ready when a, when a uh, competitor responds. So this is a once and done kind of activity. It is trying to get the, t take the initiative, get in a, in a position of strength, and then trying to hold those gains and in fact extend those gains as you go forward. The idea is to come up with a good or better value product than competitors. That way there's, they are unable to compete with you on a dimension, a pricing dimension. And then you can go with a lower cost, lower cost that allows you to under, underscore their pricing strategy when you attack. You can also come up with new features and functions quickly that the, that the competitors cannot necessarily meet immediately. That gives you some time in the market, once again, to consolidate your advantage. You might continually improve processes. So even though you're already the cost leader, you want to extend that cost leadership because competitors may be trying to leapfrog you with new technologies, etc. You want to immediately incorporate and imitate successes by other firms, competitive firms, bring those into the organization, which is one reason why competitive firms tend to move towards strategic groups. They compete, they, they uh, imitate the successes of their rivals, and when you do something, your competitors will likewise imitate you. Um, you sometimes just try different things in a kind of hit and run kind of a model um, to to um, to be able to keep your competitor guessing in terms of what the what the processes or the planned initiatives are. And you also sometimes want to be preemptive. That is, you are the first one to open a store in a particular area or whatever. As we'll talk about in a later lecture, that timing can be a problem because one can make mistakes and the competitor can come in as a second mover and take advantage of some of those errors. Essentially, when you're thinking about the competitive marketplace and you're taking offensive action, you want to be thinking about going after market leaders 
those in, ahead of you in the marketplace are on parity, but go after them in their weak spots. You might, might also want to think about looking at firms that are struggling or runners up, if you will, the second in, in command, and try to push them out of the way. To you, to you, to you to try to become the second player, the second main player in the marketplace. You also have to think about pot potentially going after some uh, some firms that are currently struggling. That's an opportunity sometimes to buy up assets and to buy a liquidation price, um, some assets and some positioning that might otherwise you would have to build uh, from scratch. And lastly, sometimes local firms have very very uh, localized activities. And with a large economy to scale as a large market, you can, uh, you can take market away from local organizations. That happens a lot when Walmart moves into town and activities, uh, different kinds of stores like that. When chains come into town, it's very hard on local businesses sometimes. As the chain, you are taking a strategic action under that scenario. Those are some of the things to be thinking about when we think about an offensive strategy. There's one other kind of offensive strategy, which we'll talk about in the next lecture which is what's called a blue ocean strategy, which simply means you decide you're going to launch into an entirely new market, wide open space, never been done before, and try to begin to build a new market and perhaps a new industry. We'll talk about it in the next lecture when we talk about blue ocean strategies.